ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for a little bit of a different video today. What we're going to be taking a look at is something that we have down in Australia, more specifically in Melbourne, called the Pop Culture Collector Gallery. Now, I visited this place a few times, but most recently I went last weekend with my fiance and we did get to have a look at some of the awesome stuff that they do have in here and I was absolutely blown away the first time I went and even more so now they've expanded, they've added even more awesome stuff. Now, you're about to see the view that you get from walking into the gallery and they have stuff here from pretty much every single pop culture company out there. They have life-size stuff, they have statues, they've got busts, they've got Hot Toys figures, Sideshow, 3A, Mezco, you can see all the signs up above. They've got helmets, they've got props, even books and vinyl records. It is absolutely awesome. Now, when you do walk in the door, you are greeted by this life-size statue area. And you can see that there's a T-800, there's a Mark 46, there's a Heath Ledger Joker, a Batman, and also other stuff. And if you move down a little bit further, you can see that there is another comic-style Batman, and there is a Superman behind him that goes with him. If anyone is game to pick up one of these life-size statues, they're incredibly expensive, but they are really, really awesome. Now, they do have this Total Recall robot down there as well. I don't know much about Total Recall, but I'm going to show you some of the rest of the life-size stuff in here. We'll get out of the way first. There is a Darth Malgus. I didn't really play any of uh, whatever game this guy was from. I think it's Knights of the Old Republic or something like that, but it's a really, really awesome, imposing statue, and I'm pretty sure that lightsaber does light up, which is just awesome. Now, there's also a life-size uh, Stormtrooper. This is the same one, I believe, that's at Secret Base. And I do believe this is made by Hot Toys because you'll see in just a second that it does have a price tag on it. And the price tag does specifically mention Hot Toys. And it happens to be the lucky last. It's 12000 Australian dollars. Uh, and it came out in 2017, which is really awesome. The fact that Hot Toys did make this life-size statue and you can own it in your collection. Now, there's also a life-size Han in Carbonite, which is also extremely expensive. But if someone did want to pick it up, it would be one hell of an awesome thing to have in your display. Now, speaking of awesome things in your display, you can have this life-size Groot, which looks just outstanding. I wouldn't mind finding a teenage Groot because this guy was really, really tall and I don't think he'd fit in my collection room, unfortunately. Not that I'd be allowed to buy him anyway. Now, if you do go back and look at the figure art section, you can see that there's a broad range of Bandai stuff here, ranging from figure arts to those little super deformed robots. And even down the bottom, you can see that there's the Tamashi R2-D2, the fully die-cast R2. They're really awesome to see a broad range of stuff. And when you do pan across, you can see that I'm pretty sure this stuff is Star Ace uh, and some other... Um some other companies who make 1-6 scale stuff and some statue stuff down the bottom there, which is awesome to see a broad range of stuff. Now, up the top here, you can see that there is a placard for each section. This is 3A, so you're about to see some of the 3A and 3-0 stuff that they do have at the Pop Culture Collector Gallery. And the stuff from 3A you can see is just here. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is some of the Star A stuff mixed in with some of the Blitzway and 3A stuff. And here is more of the 3A stuff, the Steel Age stuff at the top. You can see the Crisis, you can see the Pinhead. You can see there's a whole bunch of awesome stuff here from 3A that you normally wouldn't see. Now, here we have uh, the Sideshow collectible section, and it's mostly Sideshow statues, but there are some Sideshow figures, which you're about to see now. And you can see that there's that Mythos Obi-Wan. They've got the Return of the Jedi Luke. So some brand new stuff they have in these cabinets. They get them pretty quick, as far as I can tell, so they can put them in the displays and obviously then sell the merchandise. You can even see that brand new Luke Cage is down there as well. And you can see some of the premium format Sideshow stuff. I have to say, I'm a big fan of some of this stuff. It is really, really awesome. If only I had the room to display all of these six statues, I definitely would. But unfortunately, I do not. Now, one of my latest obsessions, if you've been following me in Justin's Collector Group, is Mezco. I absolutely adore Mezco. I rant and rave about how good they are. And they had some really awesome sold-out stuff over at the Pop Culture Collector Gallery. I, of course, happened to pick it up. You can see what they had on display here. You got the Flash, Captain America, uh, the cap I know was sold out and I did pick him up for $99 which I was very impressed with and uh, they do have one more if you do want to go there and pick up a Mezco cap if you are looking for him and here you can see the other side with the dark side, Doctor Strange, Old Man Logan and a whole bunch of other Mezco stuff that's not in the 112th line, that is specifically the line that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Now, moving back over to the Hot Toys section, here is basically the Hot Toys Iron Man Shrine with Ultron just poking in down the bottom there as well. They did have some sold out stuff here like the Mark 9 and Pepper set, although the prices were a little bit steep. 
They also had some more Hot Toys stuff. There were quite a few uh, Hot Toys figures, actually, but the prices, as I said, were a little bit steep on some. The Chitauri Commander and Chitauri Foot Soldier were going for a pretty reasonable price, though. If I did uh, want to pick them up, I could have for, I think it was $2.79 for both, which isn't too terribly bad. You can see that there is even more Hot Toys stuff over here, a pretty diverse collection that they do have. And flipping over to the other side, you can see that they've got a lot of DC figures as well. And some of this stuff is getting a little bit harder to find, like that Training Armor Wonder Woman, so definitely do head over to the Collector Gallery if you want to pick them up. Now moving on to Prime One Studios, a company that I don't know a hell of a lot about, but I do enjoy their work. The Prime One stuff looks amazing, especially the Arkham stuff at the top there. If only I could afford and I could have the real estate to display some of this stuff because it is just that awesome. You can see in this video here, just panning across the breadth of the range of licenses that these guys have from the Michael Bay Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to the original ones. You can see the DC stuff. You can see a whole bunch of other stuff like Ultraman. It's just absolutely awesome to see. And there's even a classic G1 style Megatron, which looks really, really awesome. And also some busts. I know Ryan Kirkwood over at Minted Sealbox Media does have some of these busts. Now, a company that I also don't have much uh, knowledge about is Chronicle Collectibles. They're based out of the USA, as far as I can tell from this sign, and their work looks immaculate. Really, really good work. That Optimus Prime looks really awesome. It's a little bit cheaper than the Prime One Studios, as far as I'm aware, and it does look on par in terms of quality, and you can see some of their stuff here. That uh, Armored Batman looks absolutely stunning. I might have to eventually pick that up when I do expand into a studio space and I've got more room. Same thing with that Stormtrooper and Darth Vader. It's absolutely stunning work. And you can see that they've got a range of different sizes of stuff. These are sort of the premium format style things. I love that Spider-Man 2099, by the way. He looks absolutely gorgeous. He did in person and he does in this footage here. And you can see even that they do have an Ed 209 and some other smaller scale stuff as well, like that Arnie bust and some dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. Really awesome to see a wide range of stuff. Now, there was also a DC Collectibles uh, section. Not that they make too much anymore in the way of figures. They're mostly focusing on statues as far as I'm aware. But they did have a good variety of stuff from DC Collectibles. A good showing of, of the amount of stuff that they do make. And you can see just panning across that there's a bunch of statues. They are getting more into the statue game. I was picking up the animated series figures, but uh, I don't think they're making as many anymore. They were announced a few at one of the recent cons but not too terribly much. Now there were an entire, there was an entire section of Funko Pops. I didn't take photos of everything because I wanted to leave a little bit to be desired. I wanted to leave you guys with a little bit of, of awe and I wanted you to go and check it out yourself. I didn't want to spoil everything that they do have here, but they have some pretty awesome sold out stuff that I haven't seen in a while. So definitely do head over there and check it out. If you are looking for some Funko Pops, they had a lot of chases as well, which is always good to see, and some new stuff that hasn't been yet released at some of these smaller retailers, like Zing Pop Culture and EB Games, which is good to see. Those are our official uh, pop distributors down here in Australia. That's where you can get most of them, and some of the stuff that they had at this collector gallery, they didn't even have over at Zing. Now, you can see that this is the center section of the store, and you can get a good view of the Prime One Studios and PC collectible section, which is good to see. And if you do pan off to the side, you can see that there is some more of that premium format style stuff. I'm not exactly sure who makes this stuff. I, it could be Sideshow, but it's awesome to see that Dark Side was amazing. Same with that Venom. He actually had drool dripping down from his tongue, which is really disgusting, but really awesome to see for a Venom figure. Now, panning across, you can see even more awesome stuff. As I said, I'm pretty sure this is PC uh, collectibles or whatever it was. You can see some Rambo stuff. You can see a Rocky figure. You can see that Slimer. It's a really awesome range of stuff, and it's all mixed together into one awesome collector gallery. A really great place to come and check out. And you can see a life-size Kratos as well from God of War. He's really big, actually, in person and really imposing. So if anyone wants to pick that guy up and have him in your collection room, I'm sure you're definitely going to love it. You can put him right next to your PlayStation and play God of War while you're looking at your life-size Kratos. And you can see as well that they do have a bunch of those Chrome Funko Pop figures, those Avengers, uh, the Chrome Red and Chrome Gold Iron Man and Iron Spider, which is always good to see because I know those are getting a little bit harder to find, at least down in Australia. And a little bit more on the PCS collectibles or whatever it is. You can see that they do have a little bit more on the sides there. And there is quite a range of good stuff. I know I've said that a bunch of times, but it's always surprises me to see the, the range of the licenses from, I think it's Street Fighter or Tekken or one of those games and all the way up to Star Wars which is really really awesome. 
Now, Gentle Giant Studios also did have their own little section with a bunch of their statues and awesome work. I know they do a lot of sculpting for a lot of different people, and their work is really, really nice to see, especially all put together in this collection. As you can see here, there's some smaller scale stuff, some busts, and it all looks really, really good. There were some Star Wars busts from them that even had real rooted hair on it. Uh, now that's pretty much it for the Pop Culture Collector Gallery. I didn't show you everything and that's by design because I wanted you to go and check it out yourself just to give you a bit of a taste on how awesome it actually is. So definitely head up there. It's up in Geelong in Australia. So if you are planning on visiting Australia, definitely go ahead and check it out. Also check out Justin's Collector Group. It's the brand new Facebook group where a bunch of collectors, YouTubers, collaborators all come together to share photos of the collections, chat about figures, and the link for that is down in the description below. That's about it, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Yeah.